Hello, this is Aram from Tushev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert um, Udini Crowd Simulation to an Atoms Cache. So, let's first create um, a Udini Crowd Simulation. Let's use one of these examples, will be just fine. Uh, let's choose the ob obstacle one. Okay, so imagine this is your simulation. You want to convert this to uh, to an atom simulation, then cache out. So the the first thing that you need to do is to um, convert direct this to uh, an agent group, and you can do with the um, how crowd converter. You can find here on the shelf, or you can also um, find it here on the tools. You need crowd converter. So you just need to select the um, the output of the DOP simulation of the crowds or the, the agents already simulated. So, for example, it's the directly the crowd source, for example, if you're not using DOP. Now, in this case, I can select directly the, the geometry node here and then press uh, the command here. It was, this will initialize everything and set up an agent group directly uh, with the Udini Crowd uh, Converter module. So now it's done. So let's have a look to the agent group they just created. Uh, let's go deep inside here. Let's exit. Uh, as you can see, I have an agent group with uh, this Udini Crowd Converter that is new from the version uh, 4. Uh, this Crowd Converter just take as input the the crowd uh, sim import and here you have um, some option if you want to export the um, ground adaptation data inside the atoms cache you need to provide a, a ground uh, to to be able um, to pass this to atoms you know sorry to pass this to this model in this way this model is able to compute the right uh, pelvis states of each agent, and then you can basically um, adapt this uh, this output simulation to a new terrain, for example. And here you can have a ground sub that accept a sub geometry, or if you have an eye field, an atom eye field, scene, you can specify the eye field here. So now, basically, if I press play, you see the white one is the atom's skeleton. You see that match perfectly the simulation of Udini. Uh, if uh, let me hide the, the simulation here and this module also convert directly the, the mesh of the uh, Udini agent definition to an agent type definition so if, for example if I switch to skin I have the, the agent here and this is now uh, um, an atom simulation um, just a quick note um, if you want uh, use the ground adaptation later, for example, on, on the an atom scan is exported. You need to uh, be sure to have the agent prep uh, node on your Udini agent definition with the information about the legs. With this information, the atoms can know exactly which joints are the legs, and with this information, can adapt the agent to, to, the, to the terrain. Uh, at this point, you can export an Atoms cache, uh, it's the usual workflow, so just go export, uh, cache exporter, you can select uh, the agent group, here, and set a cache path, and let's export on 100 frame, should be enough. And export. That's done. Let's have a look at this uh, Atoms cache. Let's go to a new scene. Let's create an agent group. Like right, this one. And Create a cache reader module. Cache reader. And then select the output cache that we just created. I have the cache here. 
and let's switch to the scheme mode. At this point, for example, you can uh, bring move this cache to Unreal and have that simulation there, or move to Maya or whatever uh, software uh, Atom support. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.